Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. This week, the question comes from Julie Cahill, who says, I used tried to use Content-Aware Scale in CS5 and got OK results. Is it any better in CS6? And the answer is no. Content-Aware Scale is the same, but I wouldn't use Content-Aware Scale anymore because of the Content-Aware Move tool. Now, you may have seen demonstrations of the Content-Aware Move tool where people are moved and it redoes the background. There's also an option in the Content-Aware Move tool called Extend. So here's an example I'll show you right now. This is a, a photograph I took of a you know, kind of a cool brick wall, but I'm actually showing you the after photograph. The original photograph stopped here, but I wanted to extend it to this extra space. So let me go back and show you what I did. I opened this as a smart object, as a camera raw smart object. Then I went to the canvas size command. And I want to add extra width, so I'm going to anchor the left-hand side and say add it to the right. So I'll make it up to 9 inches wide. And that added this extra space around the outside. Now, one of the things that makes this content-aware move option so wonderful is even though this is a smart object, you can't content-aware scale a smart object. But what I can do now is add a new layer. And here's my content-aware move tool. I'm going to change it from move to extend. And sample all layers is checked to make sure the results go on the blank layer. I'm going to take my marquee selection tool and I'm going to select more than I need. I found, generally speaking, it's better to give it more to work with if you can. So I'll go back to the Content Aware Move tool. Again, I've got it set on Extend. And to begin with, I have it set on Medium as the adaptation. So I'm just going to move it over. Say that's where I'd like you to put it. It's going to do some analyzing and some blending in and let's take a look up close and you can see if I hide the original blank area was over here but look at what it did it actually extended it all the way over here and did a really nice job of blending it in I mean there's not any really obvious areas I mean there's a few here and there but even that could look like it's just some plaster or something so I would say that that did a pretty good job of doing a blend in and this adaptation control is one thing that is going to make a difference. So I suggest you try different ones. I usually start with medium and then depending on how definite a pattern that is, go up to the very strict and see what that does. But you can see, again, I don't think anyone walking in right now would be able to tell at a quick glance, oh, it looks to me like there's this is an extension. The only thing that you see here and there is I see like one set of bricks that looks like an exact repetition. But then I just do a little cloning or healing over the top. But as I always say, compared to the alternative of doing it all by hand, the extend option in the Content or Move tool can often do a really, really good job for you. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.